Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to Shonen Archive, the thing that was supposed to be here this week, but unfortunately Zen got sick at the last second, so <laughs> there's going to be no Shonen Archive this week, which is also why you've been graced by this amazing uh, 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 cover right here, which is a whooper here to talk to you about Shonen Jump stuff for a little bit feel bad whenever we have to skip a Shonen Archive stuff, so I still want to talk about some stuff because I actually watched a lot of Shonen, Ar uh, Shonen stuff. Shonen Jump stuff, I should say. So I was able to see all five episodes of, uh, four episodes for Gintama, and I'm ready for the next arc. I can't wait to talk about that with Zen. A uh, lot of interesting stuff, a lot of good comedy bits. The recap, can't wait to talk to Zen about that, and <laughs> experience talking about the Benazakura arc. Once again, because that's when I finally learned that it was actually started as a joke. So that's fun. So can't wait to talk to him about that. Um, for Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, I saw the five episodes. Very nice batch of Yu-Gi-Oh! Not as strong as the previous ones, but still pretty good. Pretty decent. Some fun, goofy stuff in there, and the duels are okay. So not, it is not anywhere bad, but it's extremely enjoyable to watch at the same time. And silly, good fun. Um, funny enough, the reason that we ended up not being able to record on our regular day, which is Friday, is because on that day I had to actually go see um, Dragon Ball Super Superhero in theaters. Uh, me, my brother, and about seven other people, not all together, just randomly ac across the theater, watched in IMAX Dragon Ball Super Superhero. And uh, not to spoil it too much, we do I do have something planned for Superhero down the line. We're just trying to make up. Um, trying to find the right day and stuff and uh, see what we can do on that one. But I have some stuff planned, so I won't go too in-depth, but I will say I really liked it. I thought it was really good. Um, I skipped out on Broly, and I probably have to see Broly, because even my brother was like, why didn't you see Broly? Uh, the reason is, is I don't like the character Broly, so I figured I wouldn't like regular... I was so anti the idea of Broly that I didn't go to see it in theaters and I didn't even see it in general and really the only thing I've ever experienced from it is the trailers and the super attack animations and Dokkan. And from what I've always heard from people, that movie isn't actually good, but it is very lovingly animated, so maybe that's the best way to see it. But I do plan to see it sometime down the line, probably before we talk about the superhero stuff because I feel like it's probably very important. To have the context of that movie and that, uh, to have those two movies, just because I feel like they're the complete dichotomy of what Dragon Ball is nowadays. Because when you think about Dragon Ball, there's exactly two camps. There's the meathead camp, which only cares about Goku and Vegeta and whatever they fight. They don't give a shit about any of the other characters. They don't care about anything else. <laughs> those are the people in Fighters who get angry when they include characters that fans like. Because they're like, whatever, it should have just been another Goku and Vegeta, because that's the real ones. They have to be actually powerful, that's the only thing I care about, because I'm a meathead dumbass. And those people are obviously wrong. Um, but then there's the other camp that is the extreme opposite of it, which is also wrong in its own way. Where they don't care about Goku and Vegeta. <laughs> and all they care about are the side characters and stuff like that. And I think that what you actually need to do is meet in the middle, and you should have, obviously, Goku Vegeta, and you need the others there too. I think... They should all be working together in some kind of way in order to justify their existence. If you have one too much of one over the others, then it kind of becomes like, I don't know, unnecessary in a lot of ways. But my favorite stuff in Dragon Ball is usually the ones that find a balance of having these specific characters be involved in some way, shape, or form. Even if they don't contribute much, to be, even be a part of something is good enough for me in my eyes. Um, so yeah, going to be interesting to talk about that. I did like the movie. It was very good. Um, I don't know if it's on the... I have, I'd have to think about it. It's been a very long time since I've seen many of the other Dragon Ball movies. I actually did see ROF in theaters when it came out. Battle of Gods, I think, was actually my legit favorite. Because I did this a long time ago before anyone really knew me as Woki. I watched every single Dragon Ball movie. And I want to say the ones that ended up being the top three at that time were number one is obviously battle of gods and then number two i believe was mystical adventure the one with aureli in it which i think is the third dragon ball movie um which is probably a weird choice that's the one where it's like emperor chaozu and it's completely weird and <laughs> jank and doesn't follow the story of dragon ball at all 
Um, but I absolutely love it, and I think I still would if I saw it today. And then outside of that one, I'm trying to think of what other ones would rank up that high. Yeah, I end up liking a lot of the older ones, but not past a certain point. Like, I don't really think I have much... Like, after BoJack, I don't think there's many that I can think of that it's like, oh yeah, that's obviously the one. Until Battle of Gods comes out, obviously, and that kind of reinvents everything and changes the whole structure of everything. But yeah, I think Superhero is definitely in that top three somewhere. And I have to, I'd have to rewatch the other two, <laughs> just to be 100% sure, but I definitely feel like it's a top three contender. But I also have to see Broly to be 100% sure. Do the due diligence and actually watch the thing instead of holding on to old grudges of Broly. I, the, actually, funny enough, it, the first Broly movie is not bad, especially if you watch the dub version that has, like, Pantera and a bunch of metal music in it for some stupid reason. That version's very fun to watch. Um, probably not much more nowadays because it's got a sexual predator in it, but whatever. It's fine. They eventually replaced him with Johnny Young Bosch, so there's no real issue on that front for much things, like, other than he's in the old ones. Um, but no, actually, maybe I'm trying to think of I remember the specifics of the Broly movie. If I ca I can't remember if I end up liking Second Coming more because Broly just beats the absolute shit out of Adele in a way that's like. That makes it sound bad, but I remember it being really funny that he just holds nothing back, and in that way it's kind of enjoyable, as opposed to the weird, like, setup that you have to do for Broly meeting a character that you don't care about. Where in the second one he just, like, shows up and does stupid stuff, and that also has the father-son Kamehameha, I believe, so that's always fun. But yeah, um, that, we will talk about that in the future at a later date. Um, to go over some other Shonen Archive stuff, because I have been moving on some other things. There's now playlists for individual stuff. I figured we should do that eventually down the line, and since I plan to eventually talk about Superhero with Zen, uh, I figured, hey, why not start doing it now <laughs> and start doing a little bit of separation for stuff. So if you want to just see the Gintama stuff, you can in a row. If you want to just see the GX stuff in a row, you can. They should be included in every single Shonen Archive video starting from this one. Uh, I could go back and actually add it to those, but it'd probably be weird to do. Mm, mm, I'll think about it. I'll see, I'll see how I feel when stuff goes out. But yeah, I definitely want to organize it better. Um, just so if, in case someone's trying to binge them through, then you can just see all of one of it. And also, I am keeping the old playlist, which is literally how every episode is basically recorded. So if you don't know, the way we record is that we talk about Gintama first, and then we talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. And we do that all in basically a two... <laughs> it's usually a two-hour sitting, but it's close. It's really close to being three hours at this point of talking about GX and Gintama. Especially if we have a really good batch of episodes for Gintama, and we have a really good batch of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, I think we might extend that. I'll be very interested to see how... Like, I almost feel like that ending bit for Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, because we're coming close to the ending of Season 1, it might reach the two, 2 hour mark, or at least hour 40 something. And I feel like the same way is probably true for Gintama as we go into the next arc, which is going to be six episodes deep of one entire arc. It's going to be very interesting to kind of deal with that. And in terms of some of the other stuff, right now we are 100% focusing on uh, Gintama on Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, but, you know, when something strikes, like, that's easy to see, like, Superhero, that's obviously gonna be something to talk about, and then eventually, somewhere down the line, we will also talk about probably Jump series that get an anime as they're coming out as well, uh, which we've talked about or hinted at a previous episode. Which one will that be from upcoming? You should be able to figure that out. <laughs> just based off of context clues of what's the next big Shonen Jump thing coming out, but we would have probably done it for uh, Spy X Family, if, or Spy Family, I guess, because they don't pronounce the X over there, but um, it was coming out while we were doing Shonen Archive, so I figured we'll just save it for later at some point, even though we both read, <laughs> we both read Spy X Family weekly whenever it comes out. I think it's actually bi-weekly. But we both are caught up with the manga in that case, and we were reading it before anything was even blowing up, so... Keeping the finger on the pulse, so to say. And the same thing, we probably would also do Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, 
whenever it comes back, if I, I would assume. I actually don't know, because I haven't actually seen the anime. I'm a big fan of the manga, but I haven't actually seen the anime for it yet. Um, and I probably need to see it, because I don't remember. I, I'm afraid to say it in front of Zen, but I've honestly forgotten a lot of the early stuff of Jujutsu Kaisen, which is building up the power explanations. Like, I remember the the moment-to-moment -moment interactions. The things I don't remember is the explanation of how stuff works. That's the one thing. Because when I started reading it, it was back when the Shonen Jump app only had the first three chapters and then it skipped to like chapter fucking 50 or something. And it was like a huge gap. So I had to go find people who were translating Jujutsu Kaisen on a weekly basis and see what's up with them. Um, and those people gave up. <laughs> At a certain point they were like, this, this is stupid to explain. I'm tired and it's very hard to translate this. I quit. Good luck to you all. And he left like an entire diatribe page long explanation as to why he's leaving. And I was like, God damn, this really sucks for me. I, how the hell am I supposed to read this? But thankfully the anime helped make it super popular. Even though I think it was probably already decently popular at that point. But um, animes definitely help elevate a manga to be more well known. Much like Demon Slayer, which was doing perfectly fine as a manga. And then it got crazy thanks to the anime. So, you know, stuff like that can easily happen. But yep, yeah, I think that's it for today's shown in archive i'm gonna consider this a full-on episode of wokey talk so you wokey solo talk just talk about some shonen jump things as always we thank you very much for watching shown in archive apologies for not being able to get anything this week but we are working on stuff and we're really excited to eventually get it done and for you guys to see it uh we would not be able to do the show without the constant support of you guys so thanks a whole bunch for leaving likes commenting doing all that good stuff that helps the algorithm feel happy about it for all the gintama fans and Yu-Gi-Oh gx fans wherever you may be even though there's a huge discrepancy between the two of you we're thankful for all of you for joining us we hope you will join us as we talk about more stuff later down the line but yeah that's it for today's archive. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next week. But hey, there's also always my videos. <laughs> if you just want to see videos featuring me and not Zen. No, funny enough, they do feature Zen, but they're not really related to the actual interviews we talk about. But whatever. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Peace out. Bye.